welcome. I picked out a book that I thought would be perfect for our first day of school. Hopefully all our technology is cooperating today so you'll be able to hear it. It's called You're Finally Here and it's by Melanie Watts. Hooray! You're here! You're here! You're finally here! Which is exactly how all of your teachers feel about you. But where were you? Do you know how long I have been waiting here? Long enough to watch paint dry. It says wet paint. Long enough to find a needle in a haystack. So not what I wanted to find. Long enough to learn an accordion solo. And a one, and a two, and a one, two, three. Long enough to gather dust bunnies. Mm, that one looks just like my Uncle Vinny. Do you know how bored I get when I'm waiting? He has like a board meter. He started off just bored. Then it went to very bored. Then very, very bored. And then bored up to my ears. Oops, I guess we got off on the wrong foot. I think I should try this again. <clears throat> Hooray! You're here! You're finally here! But seriously, where were you? Do you know how unfair it is to keep me waiting? As unfair as getting picked last. Come on over here, me, the one with the eyebrows, pick me! As unfair as having to go to bed when I'm not tired. It's one of my son's biggest complaints. As unfair as having to eat a Brussels sprout. As unfair as being too short to go on a ride. Do you know how annoying it is to have to wait? As annoying as wearing an itchy sweater. As annoying as having a song stuck in my head. La, 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 don't want to be all by myself anymore. As annoying as having toilet paper stuck to my foot. As annoying as a pet rock. Sit, fetch, roll over. And do you know how rude it is to make me wait? As rude as talking with my mouth full. As rude as sticking gum under the sofa. Not cool. As rude as running on the carpet with muddy feet. As rude as making faces behind someone's back. That's not nice. That is rude. Where were you all this time? Well, he must have really missed you, as did the teachers. <sighs> Whoops. Uh, that was awkward. Okay. I promise to stop asking where you've been. If you promise to... Now, see these three dots here? These are called ellipses, and it means that he's not quite done with his thought yet. It's going to continue on the next page. So if you promise to stay, that seems like a fair request. If you stay, I'll know exactly where you are. I'll have your undivided attention. I'll spend every second of the day with you. I'll never have to wait for you again. Come on, let's put it in writing. And he made up a little contract that you could sign to say that you'll stay. Here's the contract. <clears throat> this document states that you, the reader, hereby agree to stay with me, the bunny, book character of You're Finally Here. Forever and ever, you, the reader, promise to devote all your attention exclusively to me, the bunny. You, the reader, therefore agree never to keep me, the bunny, waiting again. Oh, and oh yes, you, the reader, will provide me, the bunny, with carrot treats every day. And then he would like your signature right there. So, do we have a deal? What do you think? Would you guys sign that contract? I take that as a yes! Hooray! You're staying! You're staying, you're staying, you're staying. Oh. We'll have the greatest time. Bring, bring. Who knew rabbits had phones? Um, hey, wait, ho hold on to that thought. Guess he has to take his phone call. Hello? Oh, hey, Vern. You finally called. Oh, no, no, no. I'm not busy at all. Wow, no way. I, I, I can't believe it. She said that. 
do you know how? Wait, Vern, I have another call. Beep, beep. Kind of ignoring you guys right now. Hello? Aunt Beatrice? You, you finally called. Sure, I, I'm free to talk. You know, they can wait. You know, and me, well, you know, the usual. Still hanging out in my picture book, waiting for a reader. Y yes, one finally showed up. Yeah, seems nice. You know, like no fleas, good steady page turner. And then the last page says, wait, where are you going? Was it something I said? Seriously, is there a number where I can reach you? So he begged and begged and begged for you to come back and never leave again. And then as soon as you were there, he kind of ditched you for some other friends. What a goofball bunny. All right, I just want to remind you how happy we all are to have you here, whether it's remotely or hopefully back in person soon. And have a great rest of your day.